Hello, class. Uh, this is the second part of question number 13. Uh, I believe in the previous video, uh, I answered questions A through C, or letters A through C. And we're still going to use this mean and standard deviation uh, to finish out the problems. So part D, uh, all of a sudden it looks like things changed, right? Remember um, earlier, uh, our sample size was 60 adults. And now it looks like the sample size is 50, 55 adults. So that's going to change my standard deviation. If you remember to get this standard deviation here, we had to um, divide the standard deviation of 1.93 by the square root of n, which was 60. Now our n is 55. So we're going to do 1.93 divided by the square root of 55 to get a new standard deviation. So to handle this, let's open up Stat Crunch. So I click Question Help Stat Crunch, which is my best friend. I press um, Stat Calculators Normal. And if I'm not mistaken, the question asks, let's see if I can get this in a better position here. Uh, let's try minimize. There we go. Um, it says the likelihood of obtaining a sample mean uh, 1.98 hours or less. Okay, so the uh, problem C we did between, now we're doing less. So when I open this up, uh, right, here's between, if I had between two values, and then here is greater than or less than. So I think it was 1.98. Uh, the mean was... Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Um, da, 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 da. All right. The mean was this 1.98. So I'm going to – up there it is, 1.98. I'm having trouble with my mouse here. There we go. Okay. So uh, it looks like the sample mean, we want to see if that's less than 1.98. And it says whose mean is presumed to be 2.35. So I'm going to enter 2.35 here, right? So the mean was given, that was 2.35. We want to know P, the probability being less than or equal to 1.98. The thing we're missing here is the standard deviation. To get the standard deviation, we are going to divide the standard deviation that they gave us, which was 1.93 hours, and we're going to divide that by N. Uh, the square root of n. So in this case, uh, n was 55. So I do 1.93 divided by the square root of 55, and I'll press enter, to get 0 0.260241. Uh, so I'm going to enter that into StatCrunch. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to enter that value in here, the 0.260241. I think we go six decimal places, and then I'm going to press compute. And again, this standard deviation came from the original standard deviation that they gave us, and we divided by the square root of n. So let's see if this value works for us. I'm going to cut and paste. Oh, actually, I already put it in there, right? So that looks like that worked, right? Let's just double check, right? 0 0.07754, right, 0 0.0775, and we rounded four decimal places. So that did work, right? And then for the second part of Part D, I right, what does this mean? So if we took a 1,000 random samples, the probability that it would be 1.98 or less, well, we have to multiply this number here by 1,000. Uh, and that would give you one, two, three. It looks like 77.5, which roll round to 78. And there's my 78. Okay. And then it says, based on this result, do you uh, think avid internet users watch less television? Well, no. Right.